Danach ist es sehr gut, dass du Chuck Miller Juchat du was sagt, Leid Kach Einach, Knock nach Ad die Ayachat, Katka Ai Ayachat, Schiet Kadach. My name is Danach ist es or Chuck Miller. I'm a Raven Koho from Sitka. This is where we are. Well, I know that our Shlinga people have a very close connection with the salmon. That's that goes without saying, but our my family particularly has a very close connection with the salmon people because one of our relatives was actually taken away by them, and I'll share that story with you. Her name was Coxatin, and she lived up in a place called Ashseh, which is Dry Bay. And there was a village up there, and it was in the fall time. They were harvesting the silver salmon or the cohos that come through there. And she was a young woman. And from what our elder told us, Charlie Joseph Sr. told us, the stream that she was next to wasn't a very big stream. And she was, uh, she had a basket on her back. It was a flat basket woven. And that's where she would put the fillets of the salmon in there. And then she would get the heads that she had cut off. She'd string them up on a, a young branch. That would be a, like a rope around her neck. And she'd put the heads on the rope and string it around her neck and she'd get ready to go across the river to go back to her village. She stood up and as she stood up, all those heads went like this and they swung. And she saw the reflection in the water and she, to her that looked funny. Our people believe that you never make fun of your food. It's a taboo, you never do that. But she was young and so she did it again, over and over again, where those heads swung and uh, she was being disrespectful. Salmon people found out about it. They could hear it, they could see it. And so when she started crossing the river, she didn't make it across. They took her, she became one of them. And the family couldn't, didn't see her for years. They didn't know what happened to her. And to her, she thought she was amongst people, but then at the same time, she knew she was a salmon. She learned where they went, how they, their whole salmon cycle how they went from, you know, birth, you know, back to the river, et cetera, et cetera. So she went and was with them. And the only reason why our people knew that she had been taken away is because when our, our icht, which is called shaman, people who were able to go into a, uh, they're very, very powerful people. He went into a trance, one of our shaman went into a trance, trance-like state. And uh, the spirits were talking to him through his spirit helpers, telling him, and he says, at one time, a woman appeared to him. It was her, Cox Satine. it was her. And she told him exactly what had happened to her, how she was disrespectful to the salmon people and uh, what she had done. And she had learned all about the cohos and where they go and how they go out to the open ocean and they have to go through this circular thing. And once they go through it, it comes down like scissors. And if you don't make it through it, you die. That's why sometimes the salmon's towards their tail, they have this little gash right here. It's from that circle they call C8. Our family has that clan crest with that circle with all the salmon going through it. Every salmon has to go through it in order to get back to the river. Mm -hmm. And she told all that history to the shaman. The shaman translated all, uh, transferred all that knowledge back to the people and what had happened to Coxatine because of what had happened and what, and she never did come back in human form because of what had happened and what the shaman was told. That's why our family uses the silver salmon as our clan crest and emblem. We actually have uh, a very long song leader staff with a coho image in it. And in the, in the belly part, you'll see her image in there as a woman. And I have a headdress, a frontlet, where it shows the same thing, a coho with a woman inside the, so that's our that's our history. That's how close we are with the salmon people.